Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. So for today's video, as you saw from the title, I'm just going to be... Actually, I don't know what the title is going to be, so I can't tell you. But what I'm going to be doing today is just newer products that I've gotten recently. Um, I'm going to use those because I haven't done a full dedicated video to new products I've used. But I'm also going to try a little TikTok eye trick because I've seen this going around a lot, but I haven't tried it and it looks pretty cool. It has something to do with spin. <laughs> so we're gonna do that, um, and we're just going to do some makeup. I love sitting down, like I said, or like I say in a lot of videos, just sitting down and doing makeup, so it's just one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into the makeup. Okay, to start off, I'm gonna use these little clips. They're so cute. I've been using these to clip back my makeup and I just dropped one and I'm too lazy to pick it up so we're just going to grab another one. Just been clipping my hair back like this and it just makes it look so cute and stylish because I'm definitely one of those people that likes to clip their hair back. Next I'm going to do my eyebrows just because I've been using this Revlon like soap brow thing. This is what it looks like. I've used this before on my channel but mine's kind of dirty but this is what it looks like and use this newer stay all night make micro fine setting mist this is up to 16 hour wear wear um this is from elf this isn't new or anything but i just recently got this and i really like it um so i just spray about two sprays of that in my soap brows and i take this little spoolie of this one that's dried up focus okay and then I just brush up my brows. I do this first because I feel like this can kind of get messy. And I don't want it to get messy. So. And I don't want it touching my makeup. So I do this kind of first. Eyebrows stay like in place for a really long time. Like all day. <laughs> this is going downhill. Recently get this Juvia's Place Concealer. This is what this looks like. Um, I got the shade 19. It doesn't have a name. It just had the number at the bottom. Um, but I've been using this quite often. It's full coverage. If you're looking for a full coverage concealer, this is definitely it. It's really, really, really good. So I'm going to Oh my gosh. I just can't do it right. I can't. I just can't. Anyway, so I'm going to blend this out with my brush. Take this little LA Colors, it's just like a nude color. I got this for like sitting underneath my eyes, but I'm gonna use this to set my eyeshadow because I like setting my, well, not my eyeshadow, the base for my eyeshadow. So we're gonna set this with this color. For eyeshadow, I recently got this Essence Ice Ice Baby Eyeshadow Palette, this little one right here. This is what it looks like. It's just kind of like a simple blue palette. It's pretty cute. So we're gonna do that TikTok trend. And so you put the spoon like this and then you like do a color here and then you take the spoon on the flat side and then you like make a color right here. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, but we're gonna try that. Um, and I'm gonna do it with this little blue palette. And like I said, I saw a TikTok video of this, so I don't know who started it, but it was on TikTok. So um, I'm first going to take this light shade right here and dip into that. I tried to use this palette. It works really well. Um, it bl It's very blendable, but I hated what I did with the colors, so I just haven't used it since. So let's start with this eye. I'm going to blend this shade right here. So you just put some eyeshadow right here. Just blend it out. Like you can barely see that. But we're gonna do some more. Ooh, that's not bad. And then I'm gonna take that same shade. I'm gonna go like this. We're just gonna make a little like that. Ooh. I'm gonna deepen it up a little bit with a different color it up with probably this blue right here that one i'm gonna take a different brush this little fluffy brush and like i said we're gonna dip into this shade right here 
Yeah, yeah right there. Oh, we're not going to try to go too ham with this one. Let's see. I'm trying to... Trying to just get it right on the edge. Oh yeah, just like that. Yeah, a plastic spoon because like, who wants to wash dishes? <laughs> Not me. So then we're gonna do the outer corner part. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing it right. It's like, I don't like the way I really can't see with it, the spoon in my face. Well, it's not in my face, it's on my face. I like it. It's kind of like a cute little look. I'm sort of into it. Just this blue right here. And just get more and more into it. I'm going to try and... No, I can't because I have to use the big mirror. My big mirror is so dirty. We're going to put this right here. Maybe even deepen it up even more. And now I'm going to kind of reverse the steps. I'm going to go back into that lighter blue, more navy. And maybe just fan it out a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to spread a shimmer on the center part. And I like all of these shimmers, but I am going to start with this one in the middle right here. And I definitely am going to just spray my brush a little bit. This is silver, this light silver. On the top part a fluffy brush and just blend the tip the top underneath my brow out because I don't want it to have so much color right there I do like a little bit less color this eye off camera just to speed up the process and then I'll be back once this eye is complete all right so here's my eyeshadow I think I went a little too high up on this one I don't know if you could tell but it's okay because it was kind of hard to like maneuver this eye because I had to do it like this so this side was definitely a lot harder, my right side, but I think it's a pretty cool hack. Next, we're going to prime my face. And the primer I've actually been really, really liking lately is the Believe Beauty one. Um, you can find this at Dollar General. It's only like $5, and I feel like it's been helping me um, make my makeup last so, so long, like all day. And I think that's one of my biggest problems is... My makeup doesn't last all day. It'll start to go patchy on me. And when I started using this product again, it definitely stayed on all day. I've been spraying my face a little bit before I start priming with this e.l.f. setting spray. It has a really good mist to it. It's very, very fine, but because it's so fine, I feel like I have to spray it so much, and it just takes forever. Forever. <laughs> uh, next for foundation, this is one I recently got. It's the Undone Un Foundation Glow Tint. It's a light coverage. I think it's like a tinted moisturizer. Um, I got this from Ulta Beauty. I can't remember how much it was. It might have been like $5. I'm not sure. Um, I'll put the price over here. Um, but it was pretty cheap. It was on the drugstore side, so. And this is definitely very light coverage. Like, very light. I can put, like, a whole bunch of this, and it still probably won't show up that well. But I do like it because I'm not, um, looking always for a full coverage foundation. See, like, even I have this pimple right here. It doesn't, barely covers it up. It more of just evens out my skin tone because around my mouth is a little bit darker. So this, like, definitely helps even it out use that same concealer but because my foundation is so light coverage I do like to have more of a full coverage concealer but you really really don't need like a lot of this a little bit goes a long way um, and I'm gonna go get my beauty sponge away because I forgot to so I'm just gonna put this underneath my eyes I'm blending a little bit down to my nose um, I actually am gonna use a cream cream blush because i haven't really used one of those in a long time i use my milani one because i really do like this one it, it's really good this one because it's so pigmented i like to dip in here like this would be way too much and then dip it on the top because that is just so much i just pat a little bit on my cheekbones and a little bit i mean a lot because that's just how it goes on but I pat this on my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose, and on. I'm going to set my under eyes so they don't crease so much, but I'm definitely gonna go underneath, pat them out. 
And then I'm gonna take um, a little compacted brush and just dip in here and powder my under eyes. And for all over face powder, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Pressed Powder. It's actually a powder foundation. I'm just going to use this big brush. I've hit pan because it's so good. And just dust this all over the face. For bronzer, I'm going to use this Juvia's Place one. This one's so good. I just recently bought this with all the other sort of new products. Um, I've never tried anything Juvia's Place when before I bought these two. And I really, really like this bronzer. Look at this bronzer. They're really good pan size. Like this is the length of my face. And just look how pretty they are. They're just so warm tone. I really, really like that. So I dip into both colors because I really don't care. And then I'll just pat it along my cheekbones. And they're very, very pigmented and they look so good. I don't care to get super, super messy with this because I have gone in and cleaned up my face. So underneath my bronzer. I have no new blush. I need to get more blushes because I feel like that's the one thing I don't ever really get it, it's new blush. So I'm just gonna use the She Glam one, the, um, this is called Gravi Gravity Metallic Glow Blush. I really like this one. I know I've said it before, I said that I would never like this blush, I probably would never use it again, and it's probably one of the only brushes I use. Blushes. Now I'm gonna clean up underneath my cheeks. Lighting is so terrible, I'm so sorry. And then I'll do the other side. might use this Anastasia glow palette I haven't used it in a long time but they have like a little blue shade in there I might just use it why not I don't really use a lot of highlighters so I'm not like my go-to I really don't even wear highlighter because this has a lot of shine but I am gonna use this little blue one I mean might as well use it um yeah since we're going blue we're gonna just use this you guys can see the blue. It's really, really nice. And then I'm gonna dust off the highlight with this little, I mean, the powder that we had right here. Dust the rest of it off. Then um, I recently got this Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is very, very, very much not new, but this is the first time I ever got one that was in a big bottle like this. Um, so we're gonna spray my face down because I've been loving this setting spray. a little bit of that blue highlight right here I don't want to fully tip it over because it's broke we're gonna put a little bit of that oh yeah in the inner corner we're just going full-on blue today aren't we can you guys see it look how look at the difference looks so pretty I'm gonna go back into that little eyeshadow palette and put one of the darker blues on the lash line so we can get some color on there just gonna use a little blending brush. I'm gonna use this blue right here. I don't know, I guarantee to this one than that one. Recently got this Essence Lash Princess one because I feel like so many people raved about this mascara. They say it's like one of the best drugstore ones. And when I used it, it definitely was. I feel like it, I'm just dropping everything. I feel like it is kind of messy, but you know, I can kind of deal with it, so. Um, and I did use, buy this Essence Lash and Brow Mascara. I do not like it as a brow mascara, but I do like it as a lash mascara. Kind of like a primer, so I'll put this on before I do my mascara. Pretty small wand. And I was like, I don't know if that'll be good, but it really is good. A little mascara wand. And just rake through these because these are really chunky monkey. There is how my lashes look. Like I said, not that my favorite mascara. It definitely gives me the length that I like, but I'd rather have a lot more volume than length and something that's not so wet and formula. Don't forget that I did buy the NYX, the Shine Loud Magic Maker Lip Stick and Gloss. This was very viral on TikTok for a while because this was like the no transfer lipstick. Um, and I really, really do like it. It definitely is transfer proof, but it kind of is difficult to take off. That's why I do avoid wearing this. 
but if you are looking for something that will last like all day through eating through anything this is definitely it it comes with a lipstick side and a gloss side and I'll show you guys how they work if you haven't seen it yet but I love the little dofa because you really don't have to use a lip liner and you do have to wait for it to dry the first layer I did get the shade I'll put a picture of what the shade name is or I'll write it down because I cannot read that but the first layer will get sticky It'll get sticky and so then you take the lip gloss side which actually has like a little lip applicator and brush this on top of it and there you go and there it is i really like this color i wouldn't would wear it on a daily basis um i just i'm not much of a lipstick wearer but like i said this is definitely transfer proof so if you need something like that i definitely recommend this go for this first and i'll show you see nothing 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 transfer proof see it works really really good i'm really shocked i think that's why it's so hard to take off sometimes but i really do like it all right guys and this is the finished product i hope you liked it i really do like the way the look turned out i love all the products i think one of my favorite products is just the bronzer i do recommend this one if you can't find a good one like i said it's a little pricey but you do get a lot in here and like I said, everything else is really good. I really like it all. And definitely the lipstick, like I keep saying, you know what I was saying. If it's if you need some transfer proof, this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I hope if you were interested in any of the makeup products or were wanting to try them out, I hope this was informative for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.